yeah, so it's what, 4 a.m. and we're at the gym. It's early. <laughs> so we're at the gym and we're gonna do a five out a five minute arm video that we like doing because it kills our arm it's like you hold your arms up for five minutes and at two and a half you want to like cut your arms off but the ladies like keep going keep going so you do and then you die at the end <laughs> it's not fun but yeah we're here i told you guys like i've been trying i've been trying to make it to the gym this is the first time we've like made it to the gym and like two weeks can you tell i'm still sleeping um but yeah and then i'm gonna try and do we're gonna try and do some cardio so we can either do some arms or some some walking or some elliptical like my mom but yeah gym yeah i don't even have guns so mm. we'll get there we'll get there right Right. He's got more than I do. Yeah. 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 Effort. Okay, we got our arms done. I still have my arms. They're not dead. But it's funny because like halfway through the lady goes, I bet you hate me now. And you're like, I'm like, I'm getting a hitman out on you right now, girlfriend. Like, so we're about to get on the elliptical. Yes, I get on those. I climb like Mount Everest. Let's do this, yo. So as you can tell, guys, I crashed after I came back from the gym. When we came back from the gym, now I was feeling good from working out, and I stretched, and I was feeling really great. And then I saw, well, first my, my right sciatica starts kind of throbbing, and I'm like, oh, well, it's probably from the gym because most of the time, I hurt after the gym because, well, face it, I do anything, anything, and I feel like shit. So, so we're here, uh, I'm sitting here, and my right sciatica starts hurting, and I'm like, crap, what's this from? And then I realize that it's kind of getting dark in here, and I have the windows open a little bit, and I look outside, and I see overcast and if you're a spoonie like me and you're affected by the weather you you see that and you go oh my god well I might as well just wipe out everything for the day thanks a lot mother nature I did not want to be like a prisoner in my bed but because you have to roll in some clouds have it be a little bit humid my back just goes <laughs> with pain that spoony life yo but anyways okay so yeah so i i went back to bed now we got home we go to the gym early we got up and went to the gym around four ish so i probably we came back, Patrick and my mom got ready, and they went off to work. It's just me here with the cats. Spoonie Central. And, um, yeah. I feel like, yeah, with all the cats, you know, it's not like the crazy cat lady. It's the crazy Spoonie lady or something. But anyways, so, um, yeah, I... I decided to lay down. I put a bunch of those good patches on I just got. Remember I was telling you guys? I got these, um, I used these lidocaine patches. And I was getting this generic brand that didn't stick for shit. Like, you would put it on and five seconds later, it just like peeled off your skin. It just like, bloop, off. It like basically, it was, it would repel from my skin basically. But... You know, last time I went, it, and if you guys watch that vlog, I'll link it right here. If you didn't, but, um, those, uh, the new patches I was given by the, uh, by my pharmacy works so much better. They stick. 
they actually remind me of um if you guys ever use tiger bomb patches or any kind of over the counter patches kind of has that like gel feeling to the pad so these stick so i put like three of those bad boys on and i laid down and i fell asleep <laughs> and it kind of helped i'm gonna have to take some meds right now because i'm still feeling a lot of pressure in my like right SI joint that's what happens when it gets humid here during the summer is it creates a pressure in the valley you've probably heard me talk about this before the pressure that happens when it's hot and humid in the valley because it's below sea level and it creates pressure yeah so it creates pressure in my joints so um last week was pretty bad uh week uh, wise it was kind of humid last week so like a lot of the days I was still I was getting the same pressure in my right SI joint that when that happens it irritates my whole sciatic nerve my whole right leg is just like got that numb pain feeling and oh my god but I put I put two patches on I put one over my right SI joint one over the left and I try to like oops, sorry I try to bring them together closely because I have a herniated disc on my L5S1 and your SI joints are right below that that disc so I pop one here and I pop one here and it gets the middle and then I put one over on the spot on my leg that was really hurting the most which is like my upper thigh right below my butt cheek I know thank you mother nature <laughs> and um yeah those have been kind of helping like i said i gotta take something because it's starting to hurt but i'm doing okay i'm surviving it so instead of because like on days like this like i feel like i get so unproductive like i just want to sleep but to try and be more productive today i'm gonna do some editing i'm gonna do some editing and then I have a new project a new project for the channel that I'm working on I think I'll let it be a surprise but I'm gonna work on that I have a lot of uh, a lot of good ideas and I want to make it a really good like it's gonna be a series I'm gonna probably put out one video once a week it's gonna be along the lines of like inspirational like a six minute ten minute video I'll have to cut my yakking back a bit, but, um, yeah, I just wanted to do something, you know, where I could, you know, show how I've coped with, like, situations or, you know, really, you know, depressing times in my life and how, you know, I, I just want to make people feel like they, they're not alone and then I can give them some of the things that I use to help group through tough times, you know, like, we're all human and we're all in this together. That's that's what I like to think. I think we're all in this together. And so we got to help each other. So yeah, I, I'm going to work on that. And I'm going to work on making that really good. Plus, like, it takes me. It's hard for me to concentrate when I have pain like this. So I figure on this day, it's better sitting in front of the computer blanking out for five minutes because I can't remember something as opposed to just sleeping through it. So that's what I'll be doing today. I'll be like, oh yeah, I was going to cut this clip out. Do, 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 I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna eat. I got some lunch here. It doesn't look very appetizing, but I'll show it to you guys. Oh, my mom made sweet potatoes yesterday. She baked a bunch of sweet potatoes. And we have vegetarian chili. And I know I'm a vegetarian because I love cheese. Now, if you're a vegan, yes, I know cheese is bad. I probably shouldn't be having cheese anyways, but I love my cheese i love cheese so much i heard somewhere some i don't know if it's real science but it said that cheese stimulates the same receptors as morphine does in your head so uh i like to think that that's why it helps with my pain right the cheese helps with my pain wine and cheese i don't know i don't drink wine but 
yeah. Yeah, so that's got, I got that, I got the cheese, and I got vegan sour cream, so my vegans can be happy about that. I do try to eat a lot of vegan stuff, but, man, I, I just can't get rid, I just can't get away from that cheese. Cheese. Go figure. <laughs> Okay, well screw it. I spent like five minutes here trying to balance you guys on a Listerine bottle. Well, as you can tell by the date right here, it's not Monday anymore, it's Friday. Yeah. Keisha had a bad week again. Ugh, I cannot tell you what happened, but I did so well on Monday and Tuesday came and it was just like, <clears throat> I didn't get a migraine, it was just, I was tired and I'm still really tired but I got an acupuncture appointment later this evening so I'm hoping that'll help. Usually acupuncture helps me a lot and I haven't had it in like two weeks so hopefully and I'm going to see the best acupuncturist in the world so <laughs> I know I'm gonna feel better. As you guys can tell my face is all jacked up right now. <sighs> Scary. Um, I broke out last week and I got acne treatments like this or you know I was using my tea tree oil and sometimes when I use too many acne products that are drying it'll dry out my face so I'm still broke out and my face is dry and cracked like a sidewalk or something or god I don't, I don't even know man like this morning, I woke up and looked at my face and said, like, shit, Keisha, what did you do? What, what did you do? <sighs> so, I put on a, I already put it up underneath the sink, but I uh, put a cucumber cooling mask that you peel off. So, that's why my face is extra shiny right now. Yeah. So, um... Yeah, that's what's been going on. I've been sleeping all week, and it sucks. It, I feel like such a loser. I got a little bit of editing done in my road trip video, and you guys are probably like, where the hell is Keisha's videos? I know. I keep planning. One of my, my, my plans is, is to come up with, like, a, a schedule where I film all my videos for, like, a month, or, like, you know, like, main videos like my quote videos that I want to do um that's yeah that's the other thing I don't think I told you guys I told you I think I said surprise but I'll tell you guys I came up with the idea the other day to start doing videos about quotes and talking about what they mean to me I really like like I have this journal my friend gave me probably already said this already <laughs> and um I write quotes in it and I will look back when I'm having a bad day and it really helps so I thought it'd be cool to do little videos about you know a quote and what it means to me and what what it's done to help me out and maybe people can in turn take that and have it help them so but I'm hoping that I can film like those videos or ramp videos or you know like story spoony story times on one day and then the next like day or two I can just sit around in my <laughs> my sweatpants and and my tank top with no bra. I got a bra on though. But <laughs> snap snap. Like shit. Did you ever have that? Um, my girls out there, my mermaids. Um, when you first started wearing bras, did you ever have any friends that like would come up behind you and snap your bra strap? Yeah, all my friends who were having to wear training bras with me, like, I think I was, like, in the fifth grade when I started having to wear a training bra, too. My mom was like, girl, you need to put that training bra on. I'm like, I don't want it. It sucks. Yeah. You know, they always tell you, like, oh, you're so lucky you got big boobs. No. Natural breasts are ugly, and they don't work in all bras. I've had so much issues, so that's another story, but... Yeah, you know, where, where other kids would snap your training bra and it would hurt and you'd be embarrassed and you're like, well, you're flat as a pancake, so you're just jealous, yeah. I always just thought, like, you know, I always told myself those other girls were just jealous or whatever, but now I look back and I'm like, who is jealous of wearing a training bra at 
in the fifth grade. Nobody. So yeah, I'm waiting for this to dry and just kind of trying to get with it for the day. I just been feeling so drained. Okay, I think I'm going to make myself. I haven't been having them lately and I need to get back onto it is having my smoothies. I like making green smoothies and for a while there I was just doing like mostly like two smoothies a day and a meal. I'm not saying that's what everybody should do, everybody's different or whatever, but it was working for me and my GI issues not to irritate my stomach. I had less like, you know, issues. So I'm thinking I'm going to go back to that. We're trying to do that, which is hard because you're like, I want to eat food. Food is good. And you see all these people on YouTube posting all these mukbangs and you're like, here I am with my green smoothie. I don't know, I'm weird. Do you ever, any of you who are like YouTubers, did you ever find yourself just looking in your, your camera and you're just like, ooh, and making like funny faces like. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I do crap like that all the time. Uh, it's still wet. I should go sit in front of the <laughs> in front of the fan now. <laughs> but yeah, do you guys ever do that with your cameras? Comment below if you ever do that with your camera. Put the little camera emoji. This thing, bang! I don't know. I gotta get better at putting these like sliding in annotation type things with the sounds. It's a lot of fun, but. You know, I, I start editing the videos and I'm like, I just want to get them out to everybody. But I'm like, this is a cool new thing I can learn. That is so cool. And then I get sidetracked. And then my back starts hurting. And then I go down the pain. And then the next thing I know, I'm in bed. Yeah. But anyways, I am probably going to go sit in front of the fan. Probably going to take some meds. Make myself a smoothie in a bit. But yeah, pull this off here soon. Hopefully it helps. Mm, girl pro acne, facial problems, acne problems. Everybody has that problem. Yeah, so crazy. Do you ever hear like when people, do you ever watch people on YouTube and you hear this ding and you see them kind of look over and you're like, oh yeah, I know you're, you're, you're low key looking at your phone right there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you plan on sharing that with the class, huh? Do you plan on sharing that? Yeah, I'm gonna go now, because I'm sure you're tired of seeing this mug. Okay, the lighting is weird in here, but I'm sorry. My mom picked me up, and we're on our way to acupuncture, which I am looking forward to since my ass has been dragging today. Um, yeah, I didn't wake up till like close to noon again, which I did good on Monday. I didn't sleep through Monday, but you know, like the Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday I slept, so. I was kind of disappointed in myself, but it's okay, you know, like I'm doing my best and I started all over, you know, today and every day or every, you could just, you could always be starting over, so it's not the end of the world. Look, that spoony life, yo. Puncture was bomb, you guys. Bomb. I'll tell you more later. Bomb acupuncture. Done with acupuncture. It went really good. She did my back, and then she had me flip over, and she did my front where she put a she puts a point up in here and on my arms. And believe it or not, the, when you, you wouldn't think that getting the needles in your arms would help your low back, but it really does. It, it, there's a whole science to acupuncture where like they treat the area where the pain is but then they treat the entire they call it a meridian or something like that yeah very interesting maybe maybe sometime I can get her to talk on the on the vlog or the channel here and educate us all on acupuncture acupuncture has actually been a really big big help for me um, through this whole chronic pain 
GI problem, menagerie of issues I've had since I got hurt. But yeah, uh, acupuncture. It, if you guys have never had it and you're thinking about it, look into it, do your research. I think it's awesome. So it doesn't work for everybody. I've heard some people go, eh, it didn't do anything, but it worked for me. So now I'm on my way home with my mom and Patrick should be home by now. Um, we're, we might go to his stepmom's tonight. I'm not sure, but I remember uh, he called before I went to acupuncture and he's like, um, what do you want for dinner? And I'm like, I don't know, because I never know. And of course he doesn't either, because we're both Libras and Libras never know. And yeah, and there's a lot of choices out here in the valley. What did you, oh, question of the day. What did you have for dinner? Um, the day you're watching this, comment below. What did you have for dinner? Maybe I'll read it and I'll have some future ideas of what I can eat for dinner in the future. <laughs>